This race first started back in 1972. The women started racing in 74. One athlete who's been in each and every race is Kaiapua paddler Pocho Udarian. She says the women were racing prior to 74. To tell you the truth, the women started at the same time with the men, but we started from Keohu to Kailua. That was the very first race. Nine girls per team from Keoho to Kailua in just over an hour. She says the women eventually raced from Keoho to Honaunau in 1974. That was back when the men weren't too crazy about having the women along. In reality, you know, the boys didn't want the women to do this race. Mm -mm. They, think they, they, they thought that the women couldn't do this race. <laughs> but we showed them a few. <laughs> But I remember when we first started the long distance, us Kaipu women, we always wore t shirt and shorts. Never wore bathing suits. The girls weren't used to wearing bathing suits, so I always wore a bathing suit, you know, and I go, not this time, ladies. We are going to all be uniform. So we made our own bathing suits. Like I, I mean, real old fashioned style. My father and my mother were so supportive of the women's groups. Uncle John, Uncle Herbert, Uncle, a whole board of directors, Robert Greenwell. They were so big supporters of the women traveling and, you know, supporting our club, you know, doing long distance. Mm -hmm. it, it, was, uh, it was exciting for our club that our girls went out and did long distance racing. Pojo also compliments her brother for helping polish their technique. Drum came in. And when Jerome came in, he brought in the high-tech way of paddling, you know, teaching us the basics, the, the right way of how to paddle. And from then on, we learned, we advanced, we got better. Ohana helping each other. The history of this race and Kaiokua is steeped in family tradition. In my, in my, my home, my, my father's picture is on the wall. And uh, wherever you, you turn and look at him, he's always looking at you, like, you know, and uh, I just said, hey, good morning, Daddy. We got one more day to go. And yesterday, as we were going into the, the end of the girls' race, the Naya, the uh, dolphins, were just going to in front of the canoe coming in. And, and I said, that's a beautiful picture. And then, after, after we came to the finish line and we parked, uh, Captain Zodiac's son says, Dad, look at it. There's the Hulu there. And about two or three of them right by the rubber raft, stayed there for a while. And I say, hello, daddy. My father's Amakua in Hawaiian, his guardian is the Hono, the turtle. And then they just stayed there for a while, floated and disappeared and went away. <laughs> so, you know, he was there with us yesterday. I know that, that he was there with us yesterday. At the finish line, it was Waimanalo, Healani, Waimanalo 2, and Offshore. Well, obviously, they have uh, a lot of talent. Fortunately, they, uh, they were able to come out on, on top today. Uh, we also had third place, so it was a great race all around. Pocho and her team came in first of senior masters. It went great. The girls were awesome today. Oh, yeah. The water is great. <laughs> yeah. 25 years. 25 years. This woman, 25, 25 years. 25 years. I paddled this race, and I love it every time it happens. <laughs> Next, it was the men returning back to Kailua Bay. A total of 96 women's crews, 99 men's teams participated in just the 27th running of this race. It, it, it started off with just a few clubs. And uh, looking at the overall race yesterday, you know, it, it's, it's so awesome of you to see that much canoes out there. I mean, you know, from those days and now, and it has grown to be one of the biggest races. Uh, this international. The sport is going to be, can go easily. I mean, reality. And, uh, and, and as you know, today everybody says uh, Hawaiian sport is a Hawaiian culture. It is. But you look at all different ethnic groups participating. And it's just great, you know. And uh, I think it's, it's great to see that everybody, you know, that community is. I'm hoping that during my time at the man, I'm going to let's leave on each other one to see go to Olympics. I give my uh, Inilo Clinic committee a great uh, uh, applause because they're the ones that get out there and, and they start from January. You have to start planning from January. And uh, Anthony Mary Green and uh, Jerome and their committee. 
As, uh, so this race is over. They gotta start for next year, really planning. Getting a quick jump out in front was Oahu's Lanikai Canoe Club with Kai Opua close behind. Kai kept their lead and took first overall with Kaiopua right behind. Usually, usually we've had a little bit more cushion. This year Kaiopua came up on us about three times and we had to just somehow fend them off. And we had a nice start and uh, Alani Kai was on the inside of us, Outrigger was just on the outside of us. Um, big push, us and Kaiopua were just neck and neck for probably 20 minutes just pushing each other. We, were, we, we had the lead for the first couple miles. We knew Alani Kai was going to move up and they did. We could hear them the whole way. It was a just tough race, grueling. Uh, they, they were able to hold it, and, um, and, and basically they were able to hold it a few boat lengths for the rest of the race. This year's event was dedicated to the lady who paddled in all 25 years of this event. You know, and I, I, I was proud when I was told that I was being honored this year, you know, being the 25 year of the women's races. And, um, and when I was told about it, I called some of the, I called the women and told them, we are going to be honored. And today at the party, I'm going to call all of them up if they can all come up and be part of it. Because it's not only me that did it, it's all of them. And we're all together. We're all one Ohana. 